Alright, try to burst this down if we can. That's fine. Smite the baby! Please resist! Yes. Alright, it's dead. Random D&D story I really like, chat. Here we go. Buckle up. So, player at the table. He's getting dragged by three cultists. And they drag him up to a dragon. Aha. Uh -huh. And they, they force him to his knees. And they're like, our lord, Nagafin, we bring you this sacrifice in your honor. Praise be your name. And the dragon looks down at the guy on the ground. And he's like, you got any last words? And the guy looks up at the three cultists and looks at the dragon. He's like, uh, my lord Nagafin, I bring these three sacrifices to you in your honor. Praise be your name. And everyone at the table is like. <laughs> and the dragon looks at him and the DM's like, uh, roll a charisma check. And he does it, and it was really good. And the dragon goes, I like you. Duck. <laughs> and then just, like, fireballs. And the guy ducked, so the DM just said it just roasts the top half of all the cultists. <laughs> Charisma out the booty. <laughs> yeah. Three sacrifices. <laughs> yes, we've had first sacrifice. What about third sacrifice? We burned the baby! And then he moves into the control burn, which is still going. Stumbling ah, stunned! Stupefied. Uh oh. If the Vestal goes before her, I'm gonna have her. Nope, she's not. I was gonna have her cure the stun, but no, no luck. Imagine if blind could make you lose like miss friendly stuff. Like you're trying to heal an ally and you miss the heal because they were because you had blind, and then, and then it like just goes off and hits an opponent. Ah! This dungeon's too dark. This wound at least has been tended to. Don't give them ideas. Uh, alright, that's lethal, that's lethal, this one's not. Don't give them ideas. Oh man. <laughs> oh no, I just remembered another one. This one's really bad. This one's really bad. Do I still have that thing bookmarked? Uh. Hold on. Give me a sec, give me a sec. Found it. Okay, all right. Listen close. Listen closely. All right. D and D. There's a hallway. It's very narrow. They're single file. They're fighting. There's a single file allies, single file enemies. The front guy is getting pretty low. All right. The healer is like the second or third one back, and he goes, "I I want to heal the front guy." And the guy's like, "Yes, please." And I, I'm the I'm the DM. And I'm like, uh, which spell? And he tells me, I'm like, you can't use that one. And he's like, why not? And I'm like, that spell requires you to be in range to touch. Like, imagine, like, you just slap him with holy energy on the back and that heals him. You have to be able to, like, physically reach out to him. And you, there's a, someone between you and them. And he's like, can I get around them? And I'm like, the corridor is too narrow. And he's like, <laughs> can he, like, widen his stance and I army crawl through his legs and then reach my teammate? And I was like, reach your teammate? And we, we're all laughing. It's a, a bunch of old men at the table. We're all dying laughing. And someone at the table puts this up. We had like a projector. Someone at the table puts this gif up. 
<laughs> Dude, we freaking lost it. We had to take a 10 minute break. We were so uncomposed. <laughs> and his, uh... <laughs> His his god in game was Pelor, like the, the the and that that's a real like Pathfinder god, and and so we were like the every time he healed for the next year, it was the hand of Pelor, <laughs> every time. You need healing, you need the hand of Pelor. <laughs> yes, critical success. That's why as soon as I remembered it, I was like, oh no. <laughs> Dingling the dang dangles. Every turn, she starts with a block from the wagon, and then he removes it by giving her vulnerability because they ate each other. I will say, I- ah! Oh my god. I will say, I like that, um... He is very resistant to movements, but I'm constantly nervous it's going to happen. Unknown number. Goodbye. Um, crit token. Let's remove the crit token. That looked extremely painful. It's only one, but that puts her into lethal. Wait, no it doesn't, she needs one more damage. Ah, you sink. Oh my god. Stumbling and stupefied. So, decent chance this is gonna miss. I like watching that. Hey! Won that little coin flip. Friendship! She liked how I set him on fire. Dang it, this one hit point mod. She stuns. The one damage intimidate kill. Alright, um... Oh, we've already done Inspiring Tune recently. Dang it, I was gonna de-stress her. Woo! I need to use his self-heal if I get the opportunity. Wow, crit 7 on the physical part of that. Uh, or can we kill one of the bodies for a heal? Eight. It says this will heal 14. Is it guaranteed? Yeah, that didn't heal 14. You lied to me. It was only going to do the heal if it killed it. All right, well back up. I wonder if it burns to death if she'll get the heal or if no one does. We'll find out in a moment.
No one did. So it has to be a physical attack. Dispel that crap. This is why I like having her as a confessor to get rid of that stuff. Swing and a miss. No! Oh, what? He just got backstabbed by the runaway. Dude. Hateful. Hateful. They're actually up to 11 out of 20 since they left the inn, but she's still trying to kill him. Oh god, it's at one health. Like, we're about to go into a boss fight. She's like, you know what would make this boss fight easier? If you were dead, leper. Did he just get bleed? It's not a trinket. It's not a trait. I don't know why he just got bleeding. This road cannot be walked alone. Who has the highest stress? You do. Crit 11, fade to black, nice. I'll heal you, but I'll also stab you. To be fair, her stabbing tool is also her healing tool, so <laughs> maybe just be nervous around her in general. Let's just do this for stress relief before the fight rolls over to the new phase. The Leviathan's breath thickens the air. Oh, it's thick. Oh, I actually thought that guy had a death door. Alright, so if we fight the Leviathan, pot and still, that's huge. Everybody likes the brewskis. Uh, gnarly knuckles, don't care. Fisherman's gloves. Possible use for the jester. Sodden sweater. Bleed resist, movement resist. Gain on bleed resist, heal 10%. Gain on move resist, minus one. Oh my god, this would be insane. On the Okay, guys, if the leper is using this, he would be capped on movement resistance. And this de-stresses you when you resist getting pushed or pulled. That would be wild on the leper. And then increases stacking for combat items by 2%. Okay. Alright. Let's risk it all. Let's see how we do. They must be made to see that their monstrous god is mortal. If, hmm, well, uh, I, it wasn't rank two. Okay, I was gonna say, if I had rank two Hearthlight, we could have been curing those blinds a lot better, but oh well. Um, God, 50-50. Oh, nice, landed. Ah, uh, he resisted, I tried to put weakness on him. All right, controlled burn on the first square. Occasionally he moves back and his hand comes up in front of him, so the burn is going to move back and forth between those two. Actually, seen that successfully happen. 
He just pulled her under the water. I all hasty for oh, and the, for the first time in this run, he fails to resist getting pushed. Awesome. Now is a great time for that to happen. Failed the 50-50, and he reblinded himself. Okay, this is a lot of bad things all in a row. And he can't use his big attack because he's now in the front. And he resisted it. RNG does it like you right now? No, it does not. No, it does not. Two damage. Oh, even better. Critical aid. Ah, she's in the front! And apply it judiciously. And we all have vulnerability. I guess it doesn't really... I mean, she can't use Cauterize or Controlled Burn there, so we can't leave her there forever. Friendship, somehow. Oh god, that put weakness on her. No. Dude, we have so few negative interactions in the party, but it's they're piling up really fast. Nice. It went for the guy that has a very high movement resistance. Bleed on both. Nice. Not low enough. Okay, let's... Uh, he can't use Intimidate unless he's in the front. Okay. Let's just move him up right now. Do I need to cauterize right now? No, I don't. Who took 16? Oh my god. He took like four turns in a row. This is the first turn of combat where this guy wasn't blind at the beginning of it either. Uh... Well, now it's a bummer. All right, all right. I could try to three man this and keep going until like we reach the end, but I mean, half our DPS is down and the boss doesn't even have health, so I think I'm just gonna toss it. That's about. I, I the leper dude. The first time he fails to resist a movement is in that fight, and it threw the whole thing out the window. She couldn't use her big damage spells spells from the front. Um. Even though he can spam taunt, the fact that he starts every single combat blind... Dude, I don't know. He seems like such a bad option compared to Man-at-Arms. A light in the limitless expanse. 
think we could just skip this. We got like two candles or something. Four. The road calls once I took two hours to sleep after coming home from work. I still feel like dead. Oh no. Reminds me of you when I used to work night shift. Are there bag drops again? Guild Wars 2 bag drops start again on Tuesday. Diablo 4 drops start on Monday night. Your sanctum. Adrift in this bituminous nightmare. At my insistence, we retired to our room, where I countered your excitement by clearly outlining the vulnerability of our position. Reason prevailed, and we elected to block the door with a large dresser. The crossroads. Wait by the lantern's light, and mm. welcome what help may come. <coughs> Excuse me. So, oh man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. God, it's like if Leper gets moved at all, he has to sacrifice a turn to get back in position. Unless he gets pushed behind someone that has a it has a move back ability that does uh, something. Bless you, thank you. Use the jester to move him. I mean, that just takes up the, the jester's like you move forward ability is um, it puts like what is it a damage buff on them? Yeah, battle ballad. So it's feels kind of weak for taking up a slot on the Jester's bar. And the Jester does way more damage with uh, the bleeds and stuff. Uh... Dude, it, w it was working fine up until the boss knocked him out of position. And then it was just like, well, I guess it's just freaking over. And then everything just went downhill really fast. It was like, like one... He starts the combat blind, and then we immediately had to do a damage check on the hand, and because he was blind, he failed that 50-50. Two, he got pushed, which was like a really low chance, but then it happened. Um, so he got pushed out of position, failed the blind thing, so did zero damage, and so the runaway lost like three quarters of her health underwater. Heli and her highwayman. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Chip? Yeah, Chip's here. Hellion. God. I feel like the Runaway might be my favorite, and it's so hard to use her on a team. I almost forgot. What's at the end of this? The eyes. Uh, so we got to be ready for that too. Pride, more devastating than the horrors of a. I think I'm gonna try run away again, but with the man at arms who can fix his positioning and see see if we do better. So Bulwark has been my go-to lately. I was using Sergeant for a long time, but Bulwark makes it to where Stand Fast, which you can use every like other turn, I think, or every two turns, uh, it gives it Taunt, and it puts the big shields on him. Five of them. And then Rampart can move him forward, Hold the Line moves him forward. Uh, Defender is a guard, bol uh, bolster's good, and then we can use Bellow for fights where we need it. Uh, and then her... It's funny, Arsonist allows you a better opportunity to land burns. Orphan does not offer you a better opportunity to land burns, but if you land them, they do way more damage. 
So we'll do arsonist we again. An international internet superstar celebrity sensation. Foot on this. And let's do that. Jester. I usually swap out battle ballad for harvest. And my go-to for her is Confessor. I like having Confessor with her or the Steel of the Highwaymen to get rid of crit tokens on enemies. Plus Bleed, Resist, Piercing. Okay, so Confessor, Soloist, Arsonist, Bulwark. All right, let's try this out. Oh, let's give it, let's do some fashion. Purple jester. Mmm, luck of this coke addiction probably counts for two. Wait, what? Oh, feeding a family of three at the biscuit factory. <laughs> yeah, I don't, he doesn't seem to really like when I pet him while he's doing the biscuits, so I'll, I'll refund those. you are not alone. All right, we're just gonna get to the inn and then save it there, friends. Because Gabe's going to come in here and tell me how he's dying any second now. The point of no return welcomes you. Ship sails so long it's on the other camera. You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain. So there's stand fast on Bulwark. Gives multiple blocks, multiple taunts, and he'll keep getting blocks for three turns. Have a good afternoon, Marcus. Hey, Jinxie, thank you. That one's lethal. Stumbling and stupefied. See you back up on Monday EU uh, time stream. See you then, Lopo. Early results are encouraging. All right, they're all lethal. Uh. Oh no! <laughs> I just realized. Look here, pyromaniac. Our Vestal is going to throw a Molotov. Like, she has no other option this turn. <laughs> so we have two Pyros in the group. So Pyromaniac, she sometimes will just set herself on fire or her enemy on fire, whoever she hits. But also there's a 5% chance she loses her turn and has to throw a Molotov. There is so much worse in store. Places such as this, where a little light still mm Okay. And I didn't start with any items because uh, we we'll failed the wrong. Uh, okay. Sparing flame. Hmm. What pets? Killing blow. When moving. Oh, uh, orphan wolf cub, definitely. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. All right, mastery trainer. Um, Control burn. And 
stand fast. Quick pet your cat. Fare, Hang on. Pot and still again. Lucky. Any advantage is a good thing. It's like if I get, if I see pot and still at the first place, I'm just like yoink. No hesitation. Uh, booty. Of our land. Complete the creature. No, see, we're not doing that. Starnate visit a creature den. Might do that. Shroud again. Mmm. I'll do a creature den. So I'll probably after what just happened after the SmackDown we received. I'm not sure if I should. Oh, the bounty hunter's available. I have never used the Bounty Hunter. Ever. I wonder if we should try it. The thrill of the hunt. The promise. I'll try it. So you only get to use them for one region. Bounty Hunter. Look at that. Uh, let's see. Collect bounty. Do I have to do hero shrines with him? Collect bounty, uh, plus damage. Using a target combo. Mark for death. Does combo and vuln. Come hither is a pull. Caltrops. Uh, target bleed. Minus movement resist. Minus speed. Uh, flashbang. Shuffle. Stare down, uh, self taunt, remove vuln, target weakness. Hmm. Okay, and what do you start with? Raven's Reach. Uh, range skills plus 20% damage, gain on miss, range skills plus stress. Okay. Alright, so that means, chat, that the next time we play will be my very first time trying the Bounty Hunter out, and our 74th time trying Chapter 3. <laughs> Oh, it hurts so bad that we got that boss to two hit points. All right, so we will have to save it here to my chagrin and pick it up next time.